can start the introduction. No, you can start. Why are they sitting here? I'll get them out. Our production. Janade! I tried to go according to your sequence of your super, ride. Super. So now we go on to Kaziranga, Assam. Yeah. And the Kaziranga Sanctuary. Yeah. And the, the vlog that you did there. Yeah. And the two different aspects, man versus animal. Yeah. That I found that personally a very, very interesting, the way you put it across. Right. Thank you. But what gave you that idea? So when I was in Kaziranga, I put an Instagram <coughs> post of myself on these elephants without knowing what I'd done. And a friend of mine, Robin from uh, Vancouver, actually, she texted me and she said, you know, what you're doing is must be fun, but these are the points, you know, these are uh, the animal cruelty, the backs of the elephants, and that got me thinking about it as well and got me feeling bad about uh, the animals. But at the same time, when I was over there, uh, and this... All this came much later when I was sitting and editing this. At that time, it was just, I was taking in all the information. Yeah. Uh, when I was sitting in and trying to find the story of how to put this vlog across, because I really struggled also yeah. with putting that across and what way should I put it across. Um, it suddenly struck me that uh, Sonnet, right? Sonnet once told me there are always three sides to a story. Your side, my side and then the truth. So keeping that and that saying and Robin's saying uh, and, and what I experienced and saw, the good care that the caretakers were actually taking brought this entire perspective of each one's got their own views. You just need to... And in the poor's livelihood. It's and the their poor's livelihood. livelihood yeah. That's the way they, they've got to earn and maybe that's... Uh, yeah. You know, also what's happening is I, the more I do this, the more I realize that I have a responsibility when I tell a story, to tell it from everyone's angles and perspective. I don't want it to be a one-sided story or opinion unless I really feel for it. Uh, it's always a, it's always an exercise, you know, because it's very easy to get carried away with your own thing. Yes. As a lot of news anchors today are putting on their own opinions yeah. as opposed to just saying facts, and I'm, I'm understanding. As a documentary person, it's important to say the facts and not your opinion. Let the opinions come from the people who are watching it. Next is, you're meeting up with the Spanish guy riding the yeah. bicycle yeah. from Spain to yeah. Malaysia. Yeah. It was very interesting mm. and it was amazing what this person was doing. What was also very good about him, which I did not include in the vlog, was that uh, he was not doing it for Instagram. He didn't have an Instagram account. He didn't have any sort of a social platform to kind of show off uh, what he was doing, which I am also very guilty of doing. Uh, but he was just doing it for himself. And he, and he said, the reason I'm doing it is on this double-decker cycle is because it brings smile to others. And and those are the only two objectives I saw of him wow. doing it and I thought that was incredible. That's amazing. <laughs> and I just That's amazing. The Asumis people. Yeah. How was that? I know being at the wedding and with friends you must have had a fall, but how was that? You know you're meeting someone who totally different from your part of the yeah. country, you yeah. know. Uh, first time I was riding into Assam, um, as a West Indian or a North Indian looking person, I feel ashamed that a lot of us do not consider East Indians as Indians. You know, we point out just because they look very different, they look more Chinese oriented than they look Indians, that they're not Indians. but. They are as Indians as us. They, they they sing the same songs. They talk the same language. Absolutely. They have the same mannerisms. It's just that they look different. They're as different looking as the people in the south. Even their cuisine is 
food which is india yeah. every 100 kilometers yeah. like it's south indians right they are very much different from north indians yet we consider them as indians but somehow in our psyche east indians are are not they, we call them chinki you know i mean recently i saw a couple of uh, with, uh, videos where jo chal raha hai corona virus hamara upar bahut effect ho raha hai kyunki pehle to hame nepali chinki chinese sab ke bolta tha abhi to corona virus ho gaya जो जो आप ये कहते हैं कि कोरोना वायरस हो गया ये सब बहुत गलत है क्योंकि मतलब इसमें जो यहाँ पे जो स्टूडेंट्स हैं वो सब पढ़ने आते हैं यहाँ पे और उस उससे बहुत ही गलत इम्पेक्ट होता है क्योंकि कोई कोई लोग पढ़ भी नहीं सकते हैं क्योंकि यहाँ पे मेन जो चीज़ है वो पढ़ने आते हैं यहाँ पे नहीं तो आप यहाँ ही हमें कोरोना वायरस वगैरह चिंकी चाइनीज मोमोज वगैरह बोल के आप अगर डिस्करेज ना डिमोरलाइज कर देते हो ये तो बिल्कुल बहुत गलत बात है हम यहाँ हम यही तो आएंगे ये भी तो हमारा ही देश है दे वर ऑल लाइक लुक वे इंडियन you know we, we we sing the same national anthem just because we don't look indians why do you discriminate on us why do you you know it's it was very and especially after having been there i feel a lot more for them that these guys are as much as a right to be called indians absolutely as as they are indians you know but we don't do that and i think it's to do with uh, i think the more we travel not to agra not to Bangalore and all, but more down to the east to visit this beautiful land, which is still and India. It's, it's such it's, an undiscovered paradise. It's, That's absolutely. Yeah, the people are so good over there. Absolutely. They are so well dressed, and I remember Sikkim, Gangtok. The kids over there are so well turned out, so well dressed. Such good English they spoke. They put me to shame in my English. Oh, they are very smart. They are very, uh, very absolutely. I think they are better Indians than us yes. Indians. If I have to discuss, you know, say no, they are not Indians. I say they are better Indians yeah, than us. Absolutely. Sunrise. Yeah. Your obsession with sunrise, which is fabulous, huh. and the senseless cutting of trees, hmm. made you quite morbid. Hmm. And your theory that one day we are all going to die, but the earth will be a winner. Hmm. What? How did that come up in your? I remember the long time back. Uh, so the trees, obviously, you see them cut, you see them destroyed. Any life that you see destroyed, you feel It's bad death. and feel yeah, for, right? That's a natural. <coughs> I remember once Manish, in fact, uh, my cousin Manish. He, I was again going on about what are we doing to this earth and how we. And he very blankly told me. He said, "Look, the earth's been there before us. It will stay there after us." you know the earth doesn't need saving it's humans that need saving so we might as well go cut down every tree on this earth we will die the earth will carry on and we're seeing it now with uh, just 10 days of a lockdown how nature has literally come into the cities you know the air is yeah. cleaner in a matter of only 10 days a matter imagine tables are reversed we are the caged animal now we, we are the they are wandering animal. free they wandering in the streets of There are doing the peacocks in Bombay, dolphins in, in uh, Mumbai, in marine drive. Marine drive. Can you imagine yeah. that? So in ten days, if nature can come so much, imagine a hundred years without humans, Earth will heal itself. In It's just a lesson years. for us. This is a lesson. The lockdown is a lesson for us. Telling, showing, telling us, showing us what the animals must have been feeling when we caged them. What were your feelings when you were able to reach your destination after covering 2,500 ah, kilometers? Yeah, mm. and that the passion that when you reached, almost reached your yeah. des destination. Yeah, you know what's in sense of what is misleading uh, is even I when I watch I see the beginning and I see the end and I see triumph in the end and I. I see that it's easy. It's not easy. It's the actual not. challenge is in those two to the, three the, days, the you know. The traveling. And it's not. And I could not document that because I was really out of my mind. I, it was so tiring that I didn't have the time to take out this camera and say. It was just find a place and sleep and get up and write again. But what I do want to say is during that those three days, rather than the third day of reaching and triumph, it's those time where I reached out to you. I reached out to my friends. I reached out to the my friends at the event and i told them so many times you know what i don't think i can do this i'm turning back and they encouraged me they are the ones who said take it one day at a time if you do a 800 to 1000 kilometers a day you will be fine you will be set just 
take one day at a time. So rather than what we saw is the challenge and then the triumph, it's the in between that is very rarely talked about, shown. But I just want to say the only reason I could do it is because of the support that you guys gave me okay. and my friend uh, in the Dirty Forty group, uh, the <laughs> Wild River event, all these Wild biker River boys. Guys. Yeah, they're the ones who said take it, and my butt had gone. That, <laughs> that my butt had that's gone. That's important. <laughs> it was Mama. I got it. I st I stole. Okay, I have to admit this. One one of the hotels, I stole yes, a towel. Yes, a sponge or something. Sponge was off. Sponge also didn't work, so I stole a towel from a hotel, <laughs> and I used it as a seat, and uh, just to soften the my butt. But whatever would happen every time I'd stand up and it ride, would it would fly off. <laughs> <laughs> So, yeah. And lastly, your meeting with the saint who walked 7,000 kilometers on foot and your sense of having done all that on your bike. Yeah. He having walked so much and me having ridden so much with all the luxuries that, I, that money can buy, he still had a larger, bigger, more consistent smile on his face than I did. You know, and it just showed me that Anything you can do, literally, if the right attitude is there, you can do anything. I mean, Absolutely. You, I saw his floaters, these knockoff yes, yes, yes. floaters and these big boots that I'm wearing. And, and you know, you have to, I mean, he just smiled through it all and that in itself and said That was everything. a very good interview. That was a good yeah, interview. Yeah. I'm done with my questions. Okay. Now is some of your... Friends have uh, yeah. so someone saying, Hey, Siddhant, you're a